So here we go. Here's the next part of this post. In addition, after logging into YouTube, well, first of all, I don't know who logs into YouTube to watch YouTube videos. You might log on to YouTube or just watch them, but anyways, whatever. After logging into YouTube, there are a number of videos and YouTubers calling Jake a fake martial artist. This is not an appropriate thing to address in the gardening format or on my vegan athlete channel, but just briefly, a lot of martial artists don't like the fact that, I'm, uh, that I have a lot of views on my videos. They don't like the fact that I do not talk about where I learned Kung Fu and Tai Chi from. And they don't like the fact that I'm white. There are a ton of videos on YouTube from Chinese martial artists who hate the fact that I'm not Chinese. And they don't think that I should have the right to teach because I'm white, to be honest. And I completely disagree. And I do not talk about where I learned Kung Fu from or Tai Chi from because when I was in my late 20s, um, I had kind of a breakup from my martial art instructors. And the main martial art teacher called a grandmaster is Chinese born and was raised in Indonesia and learned traditional Chinese martial arts in those countries and began teaching in America in college. And that's why I learned from. And I also learned from teachers in China when I go there to travel. So whenever I go to China, I always pick up more martial arts from the Chinese teachers of Chinese Kung Fu and Tai Chi that I learned from. And I just don't like to talk about them because there's a bad taste in my mouth from how our relationship ended. For many years, for over a decade, they were like surrogate parents to me. And there's a lot of business, personal, and moral issues that went into our, our breakup of our relationship that involved a federal lawsuit. And I just don't want to fan those flames. So because of that, a lot of YouTubers call me a fake martial artist or they love to call me fake mace because it rhymes with Jake Mace. So I would say when I put out a video in the martial arts, it gets 20 likes to every one dislike. But the one dislike is a passionate hater. But for the most part, my videos are loved because I'm teaching real, traditional Chinese martial arts. But I do not do videos with and I do not talk about my teachers because I don't want to bring them any attention. That's to be honest. So if you guys go online and see fake Mace or Jake Mace, the fake martial artist, you know, that, that's fine. Go join the haters. But listen, I have 100 million views on YouTube for my martial art videos. 100 million views on YouTube alone. I've got 700,000 subscribers on YouTube alone. Yesterday, I added 1,300 new subscribers in one day. Every day, I get over 1,000 new subscribers to my martial art channel. Guys, you're gonna attract haters. And a lot of the haters are gonna be other martial artists who want to have a following like that. And in the martial arts, they're very combative. So in the gardening community, no one's gonna fight me because all they know how to do is go out in their garden. <laughs> but in the martial arts community, people would love to punch me and kick me and test my skills. And I would love to, do the, I would love to test their skills but I'm too busy gardening, traveling, eating vegan food, meditating, working out, training, making new videos about the martial arts, sparring, doing a bunch of fight videos, learning new martial arts, learning new gardening techniques, learning how to graft, learning how to become a better vegan, and loving my new girlfriend, Nicole, that I can't possibly uh, have time to fight those martial artists. So leave me the hell alone. If you're posting in my gardening group, please don't bring martial arts into it. Keep it about gardening. All right, and the last thing here, uh, yikes, I guess I should just stay offline and stay in the garden. And yeah, that's the only truthful thing you said in the whole post. So thank you very much to this person for posting this in my group. It gave me the chance to address it in a very orderly fashion. And if anybody out there is in my Facebook group or any place where you see hate like this or trolling like this or potentially um, you know, slanderous or libelous stories about this, tag me and take a screenshot, message it to me so that I can deal with it, remove it, and get it off the internet. I would really appreciate it.